All right, this screencast is going to show you how to create a circular pattern on your wheels. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a sketch on this inside surface. We want to make sure that it's in between our center uh, areas and the outside areas here. Otherwise, um, we might be cutting into the wheel or into the, uh, the linkage arm holder. To get started, I want to, my design is going to be up in this top part here. And I'm going to create a construction line. So I've clicked on my line. And now I'm going to click on construction. You guys will be able to see it a little bit better on your screen because your screen is a little bit of a different size than what mine is. All right, so I'm going to create a construction line. I'm going to click on my center point. And I'm going to make sure that I have a vertical line. And then I'm going to right click and hit OK. And you'll notice that that line is dotted. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my design. So I'm going to, I'm going to draw two lines kind of on an angle like this. Right, that's going to create the beginning of my design. Now you'll notice that those are still dotted. And that's because my construction line is still active. So to change these, I'm going to highlight them and unclick or click on my construction line to, un to uncheck it. When I draw again, it's still highlighted. So I got to make sure I turn it off. And I'm going to draw my, I'm going to draw a couple of arcs here. Right, for those. And I'm going to add some constraints. The first constraint I'm going to do is add a horizontal constraint. I'm going to add a horizontal constraint between the tops of my lines and the bottoms of those lines that I drew. All right, and that will allow me to kind of to drag this. All right, I'm also going to make the two lines equal to each other. And then I'm going to make them symmetric to the center line. So when you click on symmetric, I click on the two lines, and then my line is symmetry. So that's going to start to line those things up. I'm going to give the bottom arc a radius. But before I do that, I want to make that bottom arc concentric to my circles. I'm going to make the top arc concentric to my circles. And that's going to give me a nice uniform shape. But now when I add my radius, it comes from the middle. So I'm going to just pick any number that I think might look good. And I'm going to do the top one as well. And if you want to change those, you can. All right. And then I'm going to put my angle between these two lines that I put in there. So like a 30 degree angle. Um, and then to get it to be constrained, you can see what it's asking me or what it wants to know is how wide do I want that. Um, so I'm going to just put a measurement here. And you don't have to put all these in, but it's a good idea to do that so that you know that you have put it in there um, and that it's going to be all nice and symmetrical. All right, so I've created my shape. Now I'm going to finish my sketch and I'm gonna cut that shape out. Notice my construction line doesn't interfere. I'm gonna extrude it all. Okay, so I've got one. Now I wanna put a few more on. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna create a circular pattern. And it's in your patterns menu. And again, yours will be easier to see than mine. So it should just say circular pattern. I'm gonna click on it. And I look at the red arrows. The red arrows tell me what it wants me to click. So the first thing it wants me to click is a feature. And the feature is that extrusion I made. Second thing it wants me to do is click a rotation axis. I don't have a rotation axis inside of my shape. Some of you may, depending on if you put the work plane in. So I'm going to add a rotation axis real quick into my object. So up in my work planes, I'm going to click axis, and I'm just going to highlight the center. And click, and then there you go. Now I have an axis going through my shape. So we'll try that circular pattern one more time. All right, we do want to be in our isometric view so we can see the axis. So there's my feature. My rotation axis is the one I just added. And then it asks me how many times do you want to place them on there. So I can do six, right? If I do seven, it cuts into that linkage arm, so we don't want to do that. All right, five cuts into that. So depending on how big you made your shape, you could put that in there. So let's say I'm going to do five. I'll click OK. All right, and so now when I look at that, it cuts into that a little bit. So that means I've just got to make my i got to make my extrusion a little bit smaller. So I'm going to just go back over to where my extrusion was. And I'm going to edit my sketch. Okay, and I'm going to make that dimension at the bottom a little bit smaller. It's going to make my pattern smaller. And then you'll see that it comes off of that shape there. Right. Now it looks a little bit goofy, so I might want to either undo that or change the number of my patterns 
to six, or I might even be able to do seven. That's not going to work. But you get the idea. And that's how you make a circular pattern on your wheels. So go ahead and give it a shot.